everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I've been um, away for a while. I obviously, you guys will know if you've been following, I've not been up to much lately. I'm trying to diet, but I'm finding it really hard. Um, and I had a car accident, so that kind of put things on hold for a bit. Everything was fine. So anyway, that's done. I'm trying to get back to vlogging now because I've had a lot of people requesting videos again, saying, come on, when are you coming back to do more videos? So I'm back. Um, and the first video that I'm going to do for you guys this week is going to be things that I put in my child's swimming bag. Um, my eldest child, Oliver, is uh, four. He'll be five in August. So he's the youngest in the year. He's just started, um, sorry, he just finished his reception year swimming lessons. Um, so I wanted something that would make it easier for him. I wanted to use stuff that would make it easy for him to get dressed and get, um, sorry, get undressed and get dressed again. Um, so yeah, majority of the stuff I'm going to talk to you about is from a shop called Decathlon. It's French, I believe, and um, we now have Decathlon over here in quite a few places. Um, not enough, in my opinion, because they are fantastic. They're a huge um, chain that do their own brand um, sporting equipment, um, and also they do other brands too. I think they do Adidas and things like that. They do a whole range of different things, but they're amazingly priced. So I would definitely recommend Decathlon to any of you guys. I will link down below. They have a website if you don't have a shop near you. So I'll put a link down below. So first up, I'm going to start with his swim bag. Um, this bag is from Decathlon. It's their, um, it's their Kuwaitua. I can't, I'm rubbish at pronouncing stuff like this. This is their little bag. It it is two pounds forty nine. It's fantastic for that price. I don't care if he loses it, which quite often reception age children and older children do lose their stuff. So I'm not worried about that. It's got a little zip in the front for all his money or whatever. If he's going to take things like a fidget spinner, which is forever <laughs> being dragged to school, um, it's quite small, um, would be small for a grown up, but for a child, I mean, this is big for Oliver, he's so diddy, um, I just wrote his name on the back rather than bother with proper stickers and that, because I don't have any left at this point, opens right out, all this swimming stuff, and it's got a lovely hook to hang it up with, for £2.49, I think that is such fantastic value for money, typical decathlon really, um, next up, these were not such good value for money, I don't say that in a, in a harsh way. They are just more expensive than what I would normally spend. But I spent out a bit more on his goggles because I wanted to get good quality. These ones are by... They're by Cressy. Um, I think they're Italian. They're quite expensive. Um, they were £12.99 from Amazon. Uh, but they are... They seem, so far, I've only had them about three months they seem incredibly durable they've got the two straps at the back the one that goes along the top of the head one that goes along the bottom they have a lovely strong seal all the way around the mask um if you're like me and you have kids that do not like water getting inside when they're swimming um you just adjust them with a little push button here it's like a little hinge this, they're not easy to adjust, if I'm honest. A grown-up needs to do this, but I think that's the case with most goggles. But yeah, I can't rate these highly enough. I, I spent a bit more, but I think it's worth spending out for some decent goggles. So £12.99 um, on Amazon Prime, that was. Questy is the company. I will link, again, I will link all of this down below. Um, next up is another Decathlon own brand. These are the what they call mesh swimming caps. This is a child size. Oliver's got quite a small head and this fits him just about perfect. Um, again, it's by their own brand, Nabaji. Nabaji. Um, these, I got this because Oliver has short hair, so I'm not overly worried if his hair gets wet. These don't protect against the water because they're lycra, kind of like um, cycling short material. They're lycra. But they're incredibly easy to get on and off. I just go like that and plonk it on. Um, so when they're lining up to go in for swimming, you can just stick it on then and there, and he can rip that off quite easily. It again doesn't protect against um, water getting through, but if um, 
your child needs to wear a swimming cap and hates them, this is definitely the way to go because I've had no complaints with this. Um, but yeah, not ideal if you've got like a, a girl who's got long hair and it takes ages to dry. So they're fantastic. That is Decathlon and it was £1.49. They also come in a range of different colours, red, um, yellow, multicoloured, black, blue. I've got, I had two, whatever, I lost one. But that's the joy of it being £1.50, you just don't care. So yeah, definitely would rate these mesh swimming caps. Up next up, these are my favourite in the whole world. These are the little microfiber towels from Decathlon. They are good for a number of reasons. They're very cheap. They come in um, small, medium, large and extra large. I believe these were large or possibly medium. It's the kind of the thing that you need to either work out the measurements or go and check when you go to make sure they're the right size for you. But they are incredibly thin. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show you how thin they are, but they are just properly like thin. Um, so they don't weigh an awful lot. They are microfiber, so they wick away any water. Like they're really weird when you put them around you. They feel strange. They're really soft, and they do kind of stick to your skin when you're wet, which is a little bit gross. But you dry it so quickly that you kind of just don't care. They take up hardly any space. I mean, they literally roll down to, that's not even the smallest little roll either. They roll down to next to nothing. They've got a strap to hold it all together. Um, I picked up three of these. I've got one for each of the kids and I got one for me. Just, they're just too convenient. They're fantastic. I use these at the beach. I put them on sand to sit on. Um, I use them every time we go swimming without fail. They're brilliant. Um, the price, these are from Decathlon again. They are £2.99 for the small, £3.49 for the medium, £7.99 for the large, and £9.99 for the extra large. They're just amazing. Honestly, they're the best. But if you get anything from Decathlon, get the microfiber towels. They're brill and so convenient. Um, next up, swimming nappies. I do not buy, um, I do not bother buying the disposable ones anymore because I forever am like running out or losing them. I never buy any more and then I start panicking on the day and end up buying them at the pool and they're always really expensive at the swimming pool. It's not so bad if you go to Aldi for them but Aldi actually sold this um, which is a swim nappy with like a terry towel in inner um, and they've got little adjustable <laughs> waist on them they were a couple of pounds they're not in there at the moment but they are in there every time they do a baby event normally so i definitely would recommend getting a proper reusable swim nappy and um, this is sydney's little one they're just really handy to chuck in your swim bag um so next up are these zogs do these they are called the zoggy search and rescue they're seals you get four in a pack They've got a little hole somewhere there, the back of their head. You throw them in, they just sink down to the bottom. And the idea is that your child dives in after them and goes and retrieves them. Um, but they say level three for a confident swimmer. Oliver isn't properly swimming yet. He can do like three or four strokes, but he then starts to sink. But he, if he's somewhere where he can stand up, he's quite happy to dive in after these. They just really encourage him to go under the water and he will literally play with them the entire time that we're swimming. So they're brilliant. I didn't write down the price for these, but I'll link it up here. And yeah, Zog stuff you can get um, online. They're readily available, aren't they? So Zogs, they're really good. Search and rescue or whatever they're called. Yeah, search and rescue. And then last but not least are these. Again, Decathlon, such a winner. These bags were a couple of pounds, I think, no more than three pounds, I want to say. They're by um, Nabaji, again, from Decathlon. That's Decathlon's own brand. They are waterproof bags. They come with a little handle. That one's got a little popper on it. Um, they come with a little handle. This one is older. I've had that for about a year. This one I've just bought. I can't find these on the website, so I can't link them for you down below. But... They are in the shop. I know they are because I bought this like a month or so ago. Completely waterproof inside. 
Um, I use it on my way swimming. I put our shampoo, shower gels and stuff in there so they don't leak. And then on the way home, I use it to put wet gear and the rest of my bag stays dry. These are such a no-brainer. You take them to the beach with you if you want to keep your phone dry, your money, your watch, etc. For a couple of pounds, you can't go wrong. My kids have got one each. They go in their swim bags, ready to go. And they're just fantastic. I can't, honestly, I can't fault Decathlon because they are such a good shop. I know it sounds like I'm sponsoring them right now, but I'm really not. They're such a good shop. They do everything um, really cheaply and they cover so many different things they do. I'm pretty sure they do horse riding. They've got ballet gear. They've got running, cycling, swimming, um, hiking, camping. They sell bikes. They sell gym equipment, they sell gym clothes, they sell clothing all round, swim gear, everything, trainers, um, and they're just so reasonable. I defy anyone to find any more um, reasonably priced than Decathlon. So yeah, if you don't have one near you, click on the link um, down below in the description. Um, yeah, can't fault them. So those are the things that I put in Oliver's swimming bag um, every Monday, for, uh, sorry, every Tuesday for swimming, because they're the things that have made my life easier. I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be putting up new videos every week now. Um, and yeah, thanks for coming back and watching. Or thanks for watching if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.